Now, I shared these two tools on social media and I did a little poll and I was so surprised to see that 80% of people had either not heard about this tool or never used it. In this editing video, we're going to look at an underrated tool and that is the Rotate and Flip tool. Hi, I'm Rachel Kronick, professional food photographer, helping you edit incredible photos that look good enough to eat. So the tool has two capabilities. So first of all, we can rotate an image and that is going to help us change aspect ratios or orientations for the desired output. The flip capability is going to give us a change of perspective to allow us to use this tool creatively. Let's take a look at where we can find these tools in our common raw editors. So to start, we're going to jump into Capture One and they have a dedicated rotation and flip tool. We can go ahead and rotate the image and flip horizontally and vertically. Jumping into Lightroom, we have access to rotate and flip as well. So you simply want to right click on your image, head down to transform, and you have the option to rotate left or right. And you can also go ahead and flip those horizontally and vertically as well. So now that we know where to find those tools in Capture One and Lightroom, what are some examples of why we would use the rotation and flip tool? So these examples are specific to my work, shooting still life photography and shooting overhead angles. So the reasons we might want to do this is it gives you some variation with light coming from different sides of your images. Now, some of us will be shooting in a home studio and we have tight constraints and we might only be able to shoot with light coming from one direction. So this gives you some variations. If you're putting together a body of work or diptychs, this helps you give some variety for composition, especially when you are shooting one subject. Changing the orientation or flipping and rotating helps if you have to use an image for a different aspect ratio that you didn't shoot in camera. Flipping or rotating an image can help you if you're experiencing some distortion or if your camera wasn't perfectly overhead. Now there is no right or wrong here. These tools are really there to help you A, problem solve, and to B, allow you to be more creative. So let's look at an example. So there is a YouTube video that I did and I used this image, this chicken meatball soup, as the thumbnail. So I needed to change the aspect ratio. So I'm just gonna jump into full screen here and let's go ahead and just create a floating tool so we can really focus on just the rotate and flip tool. So I needed to change the aspect ratio from portrait to landscape. So I just went ahead and rotated that counterclockwise. Now, because I speak a language that we read from left to right, to me, the spoon actually pushes us straight out of the image. So this doesn't work for me. So this is an example where I would go ahead and I would flip this horizontally. So now the spoon from the left brings us into that main hero subject. So this is how I would use the rotate and flip tool to help the composition make sense for the subject. An example of how we can use this tool to be creative is when we're creating a body of work. So I have a blackberry nectarine pavlova shoot that I did here, and I've created a triptych to look at the ingredients and then the finished pavlova. But just say I, for whatever reason, I didn't shoot a single pavlova and I needed that to complete uh, the project. So I could go ahead and create a clone variant or a virtual copy if you're using Lightroom. I can go ahead and crop into the image. So let's just say that we wanted to crop into this hero pavlova and we're going to grab all of those files and look at those images together. Now these two images look very similar. So this is where we could use the flip and rotate tool to bring in some variation. So these two files are exactly the same and as we saw, they look very similar. So I'm going to jump into this image and I'm just simply going to flip it horizontally. And suddenly, even though they are the same file, we're starting to get a little bit of variation. So I might just even crop in just a little bit further. Let's cut off a little bit of this area here. Now these two images, even though the same file, actually feel completely different. You have a choice now of the images that you want to use in the triptych to see what we like better using two files, two of the same files, but that have been flipped and cropped to allow them to feel different. Now I'm just gonna give you a few moments on screen to have a look at these images. Some are flipped, some are rotated, and some are a combination. And I want you to have a look and think, do all of these look good? Or does some of them not quite feel right? 
Do some of these feel like this could be a tool that can help you in your creativity? Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the other videos I have on this channel and make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about Capture One and unlock the secrets to the industry's most powerful role editor, then make sure to check out my online masterclass, Capture One Magic.